Welcome to MyJoomlaGuide.com. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Cleary, and I hope to become your Joomla Guide. Create stunning, interactive membership websites with the video tutorial series found at MyJoomlaGuide.com. With all Joomla 1.5, the first thing you're going to want to do is create your MySQL database. So we come in here to my cPanel hosting my, under MySQL database. I'm going to add the database Joomla. And I'm going to create a user for that database. I'll also name it Joomla. And the password will be Joomla. Now that I've created a database and a user, I need to assign the user to the database. And give it all privileges. Click on Add User to the Database. And now we've added our SQL database as step one of installing Joomla 1.5. might be worth mentioning is although the database and username that were created was Joomla, you'll notice that there is a prefix attached. This prefix is basically your hosting account username and will be transferred when we uh, install Joomla through the interface when it asks for the username and the database. It will be this prefix, or whatever your prefix happens to be in your hosting, plus the name of the database or the name of the user. It will make sense in a moment. Now that our database is set up, we're going to upload the zip file that uh, contains the Joomla install package. So in this case, I'm installing it into a subdomain under my primary domain. And I would do that by selecting Upload File. I would browse to my desktop, wherever it is I'm keeping that file, and then I would upload. Once the file's been uploaded, we'll want to unzip it. So by selecting the file, Extract File Contents, there we go. So we come back here, refresh our view, and now you see the file structure has been installed. But until you connect the file structure with the database, you don't really have a site. So what we then do next is we go through the Joomla installer process. Get to the install screen by simply browsing to the URL of the site that we installed Joomla on. And we start by choosing our language. As you can see, there's lots and lots of languages, but we're going to stick with English for now. Pre-installation check. It goes through to make sure you have all the requirements. Anything that uh, is not of its recommended settings, you'll get a little red. In this case, it's the register globals. That's something you would correct through your hosting. Here's the agreement and license. Go ahead and read it. Now we get to the connection settings. Our database type is MySQL. The host name is typically localhost, although some hosting services like Yahoo Small Business Accounts and whatnot will use a different host name. You'll have to check with them on that. The username, if you remember, the user and the database were both named Joomla and the prefix before that. We enter our password, which happened to also be Joomla. And the database, just like with the username, begins with the uh, host, the root prefix, the user prefix for the hosting account, and then the database name. It's also advanced settings where you can, if you're installing this over an old site that you don't want to use anything for, you can drop the existing tables or you can back them up. Uh, and add a prefix to keep that data safe in case you ever have to access it again. If we want to enable our FTP, this is where you would enter that information. This will be whatever your username happens to be. And you can auto find the root path. Very little handy feature. So, yes, we want that. Select next. 
Then you add the site name. Email address. And the administrator password. And if you like, you can install sample data. You can add a migration script if you know how to do that. You can uh, all sorts of different features. But for now, we're just doing a new install, so all we have to worry about is the name, the administrative contact, and password. We we'll click on next. Oops. Let's go ahead and install sample data so that way there's information on the screen when we take a look at our site. Now, before you do anything else, you have to go back into your root files and you have to find the installation folder. Delete that folder once you've gotten to this screen. Now that we've removed the installation folder, we're going to log in to the administrative panel. By default, your administrative username is admin, and your password is whatever it was that you set in the configuration. Once we've logged in, uh, if this is your first time using Joomla, go ahead and read through this. There's some great links and encouragement uh, for you to find out more information, different resources. For example, the Absolute Beginner's Guide to Joomla. Um, so now that Joomla is installed, I want to touch on a couple interesting features that uh, are just two examples of what's so great about this latest revolution of Joomla. The first is the Extensions Manager. Uh, if you're familiar with Joomla 1.0, uh, components, modules, and plugins, as well as templates and languages, were all managed through different uh, menu options or different interfaces. Well in Joomla 1.5 all of these items, all of these components, plugins, etc., extensions are managed through a single interface. Uh, once you've uploaded a component, a module, plugin, etc., uh, you can then view what you have installed through the tabs. The other feature uh, that is especially interesting for me is the template manager. Joomla 1.5 templates, instead of the historical commercial process of uh, template variations being managed through the index.php file or through some other file where you basically had to go in and change a line of code here and there to get the, the variations you wanted, Joomla 1.5 templates are built to allow the variations to be controlled through the administrative back end. So for this case, the default Joomla template, uh, the Ruck Milky Way, we're going to have it be a green template with a green background. We're going to apply that, and then we're going to preview our template. Very pretty. So with five colors and five backgrounds, you can create uh, all sorts of variations just with this default template that's installed. So that's how you install Joomla 1.5 and uh, and that ended with a little teaser about some of the features. Thank you. I'm Jeffrey Cleary and I hope to see you at myjoomlaguide.com.